All right, I just wanted to give you a little video tour of what I've been working on a little bit here. Um, so these are some tanks that I've been working at for uh, different uh, immersion cooling. These are filled with Bitcool dielectric oil and they're different designs that I've been working at. Uh, the upper right one here is actually no design really at all so much. This is just kind of a couple leftover misfits. Uh, this one down here, I actually have the flow coming from the back, coming forward, and then there's a return line on the bottom, which I didn't quite like so much because I'd rather take the heat from the top, of course, as heat rises. So this is going to be redone at some point. Uh, the one right next to it, actually the flow goes the opposite direction. Uh, this white tube is the feeding tube, and then it goes up and over. And then there's an overflow in the back, as we can see. So it flows over the top there, uh, comes down into the heat exchanger, which is there. And then there's a pump in the back, pumps it back out through the front. This is a newer one I'm working on that uh, it's a fanless design. This is actually raised up on a one and a half inch bar. So there's actually uh, right behind this bar, there's a one and a half inch gap and the oil comes in from that way and then up through the miner. Let's see if you can. And then it actually flows out over the top. You can kind of see some of the holes there. So that's how that one's working. I got the one on the right off right now for some maintenance stuff that's unrelated. Uh, 400 amps of service nothing too special and uh, here we have a Raspberry Pi that I have with some other general hardware and I have that running some custom scripts that will monitor the oil temperatures in each of the tanks so I know the I know the oil temperatures in each tank separate from all the actual minor temperatures and these are all water cooled and so this is an actual pump that's coming from the pool which we'll get to in just a minute and we have a couple of uh, air-cooled setups here uh, pumping heat outside but not very exciting so we'll go to the pool next all right and this is the uh, back side of where we were just at so that that this is actually the feed tube right here uh, I actually have two different pumping systems on this pool so there's a general pool filter which we have over here. This is a general sand filter, not connected to the miners at all. Um, but then this line here, uh, these two are what feeds the miner supply. Uh, so yeah, this right now, uh, even with this fountain running, it's about 103 degrees, which is hotter than I would normally have it. Uh, normally I like to keep it about 90, like low 90s, but with the complexity being down right now, I'm mining is 100% as much as possible. So we'll go to the other side of the pool and I'll show you the inlets and outlets. So this is the back side of the pool. Uh, this line here is the hot water return line. Uh, runs all the way along and this is where the outlet comes out of. Uh, there's a bunch of scrap pipe and stuff down there. Uh, this is my attempt at building a dry cooler. So there's actually two, uh, there's two all aluminum radiators. Uh, they're two foot on each side, and uh, the hot water comes in from the top, goes out the bottom, and then it's pumped back up and over. Right now, there's almost no water coming direct on the return line, so it's really all going through here. I can see in the video, it looks like the fan is running really, really slow, but that's actually just a, a trick of the camera. It's running at a good speed. And that's about it. Um, so yeah, that's how to heat a very large swimming pool with minor waste heat.